So to measure the cardiac output, the first thing you do is you measure the diameter of the left ventricular outflow tract. And you can see that in the parasternal long axis. So first thing you do is you go back to parasternal long. Remember that? That's the RV up here, the LV over here, the LA is here, mitral valve is right here. And then the blood comes in this LV and it gets pumped out this aortic outflow tract. And actually right now, I could tell that this, this aortic valve, when they come together, they have that little white line at the tip of my arrow. You can see that little white line. That's the, that's the leaflets that came together. And so that's um, during diastoles, the heart's filling, those leaflets are together. Now, um, this is just a frozen and zoomed in version of that exact same valve. The leaflets are together. So in that frozen state, you can then take the dial, bottom left hand button, and you can rotate that dial counterclockwise, and you'll back up to where and systole was. And those valve leaflets, will, you'll watch them just kind of march right open. And once they're open at their maximal point, you can put this, you can take a measurement here using the calculations functions between those two leaflets, and that's your LVOT diameter, your left ventricular outflow tract diameter. And that's going to be an important part of this whole cardiac output. So what the machine does is you lock in that value to the machine, the machine immediately squares that value, times it by pi, divide it by 4 to give you the LVOT area. So it takes a diameter, converts it into the area, and then the next thing you're going to do is measure the velocity time integral across that aortic valve. What does that mean? Here's what this means. You take the, that pulse wave Doppler, that TIE fighter thing, and you drop it right across that aortic valve right here in the apical fifth chamber. And then you activate the actual waveform, and this is what it gives you here. The x-axis is time, the y-axis is velocity, and so this little envelope right over here, this is the velocity time integral, tells you that value, the velocity time integral of this envelope in combination with the LVOT area will give you, times heart rate will give you cardiac output. In the old days, we had to take this little green thing right here, we actually had to freeze the screen and then actually trace this out by hand, okay? That's what we used to do. Well, nowadays, as of two months ago, the machine does it automatically. And so that's really it's actually why I'm teaching it to you because it's so convenient now to do this. It's just one huge less step to deal with. So to, to summarize, we got the LVOT diameter. We measured that ourselves. We gave that to the machine. And then the machine squared that times by pi divided by 4. And then it takes that and multiplies it by this term right here, the LVOT velocity time integral, that value. And that gives us stroke volume. And by the way, on the screen, since it's watching this, the, the pulsations of the heart, it knows what the heart rate is. So it takes that stroke volume, multiplies it by the heart rate that it's watching, and gives you cardiac output.